Hey, this is VHD Barbie, and this video is basically pre-op and post-op diet. Um, I'm not going to show really anything from my pre-op diet because it's basically very simple. It's high protein, um, so lean meat, so like chicken with no uh, skin, so skinless chicken, grilled fish, um, pork sirloin. Um, I think there was some steaks on there, but you have to trim the fat, so it have to be very lean steak. Vegetables like broccoli, salad, spinach, um, no starchy vegetables, no oil, no sugar. My cats are gonna definitely be in this video because they're super nosy. Um, and that's really it. No sugar, no oil, no carbs, just straight protein diet with vegetables. <clears throat> Um, I do one meal a day, and the rest of the day I do protein shakes, which is really not hard for me because I don't really eat much anyway, as is. So, yeah, I'm going to show you some different protein shakes that I'll be drinking. Um, now, my surgeon, they have, I guess they partnershiped with Urgy or Urgy. I'm not saying that right. I have no... They gave me a vanilla and a chocolate one. I think I drank it. It was disgusting. I did not like it. But I already paid um, for the package. And I have to drink it because they said my stomach is going to be very weak. And those particular protein shakes will not hurt my stomach. So I have to do the Celebrate Con and the Urgy. I'm not saying that right. But yeah. Anyway, so the Celebrate ones are these little packages. I do have a blender. Um, I'm not sure if you can see the, yeah, there's the blender right there. I do have a, oh, so this is my little setup. This right here is my niece's breakfast station because she's going to be here for surgery, um, after surgery and she's going to want breakfast in the morning and I'm not going to feel like fixing it. So what I did was I got her, her, um, cereal and her milk is in the refrigerator right in there. Um, microwave. Hold on. <laughs> microwave. I'm not going to point. You, you clearly see. The microwave, the refrigerator, and the um, blender. It's a cheap little blender. My ninja's downstairs. I just needed something that was going to, you know, blend this up really well. Because I I will get a shaker bottle um, from my surgeon. Um, but I like to blend my stuff with ice. So I do have... This little container that I will have filled with ice every day. Um, but most likely, I'm not going to be mixing up any shakes. I'm not really sure how many uh, bottled protein, ready-to-go protein shakes they, they're going to give me. Um, I'm not sure. I really wish I would have tried these because that was the whole point of them giving it to me. Um, when I first started the program was for me to try it. So I can see which one I like. Like this one's the high protein meal replacement. Um, caramel latte one. This one is the high protein cookies and cream one. This one is high protein. Um, no, this is, I'm sorry. Protein and probiotics. Sorry, cookies and cream. Uh, whey protein uh, plus, it's like five grams of fiber. It just gives you the directions of everything and the nutritional facts. This one is high protein meal replacement. Sorry, this was the caramel latte. Again, with the protein facts on the back and um, what to do and how to mix it. Same thing with this one. It's um, stop. No, you're not getting up there. I'm doing a video. This is just a multi four in one. So it has bariatric multivitamin. 500 milligram of calcium, five grams of fiber, 25 grams of protein. But this one's really awesome. It has a lot of stuff in this one. I like chocolate anyway. Um, same thing with this one. This was the vanilla cake better. I actually got this one and I got this one. Um, I'm gonna double check on my paperwork to make sure I got these both because vanilla cake batter, the reason I got this one, and I think it comes in like a big, um, container is because you can add whatever to this you can get like unflavored cocoa powder 
um, unflavored, not unflavored, uh, not, it's not sugary, it's just cocoa powder. Um, you can get like peanut butter and add to it, like the PB2, I think that's what it's called. Um, the little, the little sugar-free syrups you can add to this. So there's so much you can add to this and I got to buy some sugar-free syrups. I totally forgot about that. Oh, here's one on the floor. Um, protein and probiotic peanut butter cookie. So, I mean, you can always get on celebrate.com and get these. So that's the peanut butter cookie one, uh, four, multi four and one vanilla cake batter. Four in one chocolate one. Oh, I don't know if I left that up there long enough. Chocolate milk, excuse me. Uh, caramel latte, high protein. Meal replacement. Cookies and cream, protein and probiotic. And once again, protein and probiotic, the peanut butter cookie. So the hospital actually called me today, you guys, and uh, just kind of gave me a rundown of what's gonna happen with surgery. And it's, it's the same hospital I got my gallbladder out. The same surgeon that took my gallbladder out is taking my gallbladder out. I mean, it's doing my uh, weight loss surgery uh, revision. So, super excited. Um, not really nervous, more nervous about the pain that I'm gonna deal with. My leg is gonna go to sleep sitting down here, but whatever. I'm going to put this back in the little bag they gave me. Um, they just kind of told me, they didn't tell me what time I had to be there because they they can't tell me that. The surgeon has to tell me that, so I have to wait on that. Um, but they did tell me a rundown, asking health questions, um, and that's really about it. So pre-op is Thursday and surgery is Friday. Okay, so I'm going to show you some things that I got for uh, post-op. So this is just a regular um, condensed soup. It's mushroom, cream of mushroom, great value from Walmart. Nothing too serious. I do have a strainer, a little bitty one. I'll just pour it in here. I'm not going downstairs for anything. I have a microwave up here um, and I'll just cook it in the uh, microwave. I have a little, um, I don't know if you could, I don't really feel like getting them, but I have this right here to mix it up in. Um, but who I don't really have time for that. So I have these little throwaway bowls that I'm going to be using. Um, and I'll just mix a little, I have bottled water up here. I'll mix a little bit of water, a little bit of soup, mix it up and then just strain it in this little strainer and put it in my, uh, soup bowl. I have these little containers of three ounces. I can put some things in and warm it up. I might put some protein shakes in there or some soup and put it in the refrigerator and just have it all like maybe one chicken, one broth or just a variety because I'm so picky. Uh, but yeah, so this is mushroom. Behind my mushroom is my cream of chicken. They were out of cream of potato, so I didn't get that. Um, cream of celery, great value. I think these, I, I don't know how much these things cost. I think they're like in the cents or something. Once again, cream of chicken. So they have the pop tops and that's what I like because I can just pop them open. I do have a um, can opener up here. Up here because there was my French onion up here that I'm gonna strain um, and kind of dilute, but I have that one because it doesn't have a pop top in case I wanna eat that one. So that's that. And I have it in this little cute container that goes on top of my uh, microwave. This, I bought this stuff a long time ago when I, was, when I started, you know, wanting to have this journey. It's just a two pack. Um, it has like the measurements on the top. I think it says 16 ounces or, or one pint, excuse me. And I can just fill this up. Um, it goes to four ounces, eight ounces, 12 ounces, 16 ounces, one pint. So it has like the little, uh, measurements on the side. I can fill this up with water. 
fill this up with protein, rinse it in and out, you know, however I want to do it. Um, it's just stuff that's here to use. Baby spoons, you definitely need those. I have the baby plates and all of that. And the, the it's like this little cute little sip cup that I have that I got out of the baby section. It's like, it doesn't, you can't gulp with it. It's downstairs packed up, which I'll show that in my other video, which I'll probably do that video tomorrow, which is what did I pack in my surgery bag? Cause right now I, I don't plan on going back down there tonight. So I'll do that video in the morning. I got some sugar-free Jello. Um, I got the peach kind, black cherry, lemon, raspberry, and that's it. Those are for the uh, the Jello that I mix. <clears throat> excuse me, mix up. And this actually needs to go downstairs because it's, it, there's no use for it up here. I don't have the proper stuff to mix it up here. So I have to take that back downstairs. Um, this is my favorite bag. I got this from Chicago in the place called Jules. It's a like a, it's a grocery store. Um, I'm from Chicago. So it has like, you know, downtown Chicago on it. It's super, the bag is like, so fucked up. I need to get another one when I go back to Chicago. But it holds all of my all of my um little drink mixes things or whatever, little shaker, little you know, the little uh you know, these little things that you can put in your drinks or whatever. So I have a whole bunch. I have like this one's like hydration, key lime, this one's sugar free, kiwi strawberry. Um the new ones I have uh propel electrolytes, berry Propel electrolytes, um, kiwi strawberry, propel electrolytes, gray, black cherry, propel electrolytes. My doctor um, at my surgeon office, a lady, a nurse told me to get this. I felt super dehydrated. Told me to get drip drops. So I got that from, I believe I got this from Walgreens. Yeah. It's just to help you when you feel ill, heat, sleep, travel, exercise. Um, just when you're feeling dehydrated, it's like a lot of electrolytes and it just, it helps you. It's called drip drop. So I got the berry kind. Um, I got some crystal light lemonade. Um, some, I've been having this mint, mint lemon infusion water. I don't think there's any electrolytes in that thing. I think it's just, just an infusion. Um, Crystal Light green tea. I love green tea. I didn't even know I bought the green tea. Oh, it's made with green tea, but it's peach mango green tea. I have regular green tea downstairs and I have Crystal, well, Walmart brand green tea to put in your drink mixes. Uh, energy pomegranate lemonade, sugar-free. Everything that I have in this bag is sugar-free. Like this one's um, blueberry, sugar-free. So everything I have in here is sugar-free. Um, fruit punch, crystal light, raspberry green tea, crystal light. So yeah, like everything in here is sugar-free. Uh, peach mango, I don't know if I said this one, energy. So all of this stuff is just, you know, I can put it in my waters, which I have a shit ton of water. Downstairs, up here, um, I have a whole nother case of water. So I have a lot of water. Oh my God, my foot is going to sleep. I knew this was gonna happen. So I'm gonna show you my protein shakes really quickly. Oh, I'm still on broth. So I have this, oh. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> I have this kettle, this kettle fire uh, chicken broth. Pretty cool, never tasted it. Uh, it says zero grams of sugar, all natural. How many, how much protein is in this? It's only one gram of protein, but you know, we have to have this stuff until they give us the okay to eat something else. So this is the kettle fire one. I'm gonna actually take this back downstairs because I have to take it uh, out of town with me because I have a small thing of chicken broth that's about this big, but it's not a pop top. And I'm not trying to hustle and bustle and try to find something to open that. So. This has a little, you know, top that opens, closes, it's safe for the road. So I'm going to take that. I just bought this tonight at Trader Joe's. It's Trader Joe's buttermilk uh, squash soup. So this would be good for the puree stage. Um, 
hopefully it's good i'll let you know don't know yet glarcinia i hope i'm saying that right i've been drinking glarcinia's um protein shakes they're like diabetic protein shakes i've been drinking these since i had my sleeve when we were in mexico and went to walmart this was the only thing that they had that was chocolate um i don't know if i have the ones that i got from the first time this one has 15 grams of protein. I think this is the only one that they have that has this much in there. It has one carb choice, six sugars, 21 vitamins and minerals. It's carb steady, helps with manage, wait, to help manage blood sugar. Um, it's just really good. It tastes like a damn brownie. It tastes like cake and it's so good. This is the green one, um, 15 grams of protein. It tastes just like the blue one. It just has more things in it, has more protein, and that's why I got it. Um, so I got a whole bunch of these. I got this downstairs. Sorry, y'all. Um, my foot has went to sleep, and I'm just like over here dying right now. Put all these cans. I guess I could put all these cans back over here. I have everything set up because I know I'm not I'm everybody's gonna be at work and doing whatever they're doing so I have to try to keep everything together so I have lots of Gatorade I'm not gonna show all of my Gatorade I have this one um it's Gatorade zero I believe this is fruit punch if I'm not mistaken yeah fruit punch my cats just keep on knocking over stuff and then I have this other one. It's Gatorade um, Zero and it's lemon, lemon lime. So I have that one. I'm gonna have to try to get up. Please don't laugh at me, my freaking foot. Like, look at my cat, like why? Like no one is trying to play with him. Uh, my freaking foot is dying. So I got some applesauce. I got some more applesauce, but I really like this applesauce because it's in like this little cute squeeze packet. Hey y'all, so my, <laughs> my um, video went out, so I have to start over again. Um, but yeah, so it's like in this, I was talking about applesauce and my applesauce is in this squeeze packet. And it's really, it says mega apple, apple strawberry and apple cinnamon family size. Um, there's no, there's not supposed to be any sugar added in this. You can get these from Walmart. I believe Kroger sells them also. I have regular applesauce, but like I said, I like these because they're super easy. I'm just going to pull like one out. Like this is the, it's like, it's like little squeeze tops you give the baby. So I really like this a lot. Um, it's going to be a lot easier to eat and deal with other versus the one my grandmother made me get which is the original applesauce and the uh, like container thing um which is fine it's just that this one's better because you can just put the top back on it yeah you can just like put the top back on it you don't have to really like deal with it i'm gonna have to get up off this floor and um show you guys my other setup i'm gonna have to edit these videos because my like i said my um phone hung up because my beautiful cat named cat decided to knock it down and shut you guys off so let's get up and go over here oh this right here is a thing full of water i have so much water i have water downstairs and everything so i have my like i said my blender my microwave, my beautiful refrigerator that I've had ever since college, which I'm so thankful for because I was able to bring this upstairs. And I brought this upstairs months ago, like, oh my God, so long ago. Because even, you know, I still have the sleeve now and I have to eat at night sometimes. So it comes in handy. All right, I'm going to turn the camera around. Well, my camera won't turn around right now. So I'm gonna have to turn it like this. Hopefully you guys can see. So this is Jello. 
um applesauce like i said they're just original apple sauces there's cinnamon um some gatorades i got some water in here some more gatorades my niece's milk for her cereal which i have to get her some more some fair life milk i have that in here i'm gonna turn you around um that's like some lunch somebody had. But these are the original. These are the original um, protein shakes right here. These are the original. I need to turn this refrigerator down because it is. It's like way too high. Well, it's like all the way down. But things are freezing, which is not good. I'm gonna have to take some stuff out of here. But this is the original that I, you know, I first started drinking in the protein, the, how much protein is in this? 10 grams. The other one had 15. So this one tastes just like that one. I'm going to have to take it out because things are freezing in my refrigerator because it's too much shit in here. Um, like I said, there's jello in here, applesauce. There's some pops in here, but they're not mine. I have some more protein shakes in here. I have this muscle milk vanilla. It says 40 grams of protein, non-dairy. So, um, yeah. That one's in there, some muscle milk one. Like I said, I have water in here. Oh, I didn't really like these, but these are in sure. 16 grams of protein, 160 calories, 27 vitamins and minerals. So I have these in here also. I didn't really like them now, but after surgery, you just really never know what you may or may not like. So it's like whatever at this point. Um, Let's see what I have down here. Sorry, you guys are looking at my ceiling. Just more jello. I have like strawberry, cherry, um orange lemon whatever they had i think i showed you guys this already the kettle chicken broth kettle fire chicken broth i have this one is faux broth i think i got this stuff from kroger um let me move this here beef broth came from kroger so yeah i think i got this stuff from kroger and then my miso, miso broth. Yeah, so this stuff is gonna be like really awesome. And this is my niece's milk, so for her to drink when she gets up here. So that's really about it, you guys. There's really nothing else to really show. I'm gonna do another video. Um, sorry, I was all over the place. Camera falling, cats everywhere. You looking at my ceiling, sorry. I'm just, I'm not able to move the camera like I want to. It's acting really stupid today. But you, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions for me, just let me know. Um, yeah, so I will see you guys tomorrow. I'm gonna do a video tomorrow on what's in my surgery bag, what's in my hospital bag really quick before I pull out tomorrow and go out of town to surgery. Cause surgery is Friday. So yeah, I'll see you guys later and I will vlog. I will try to vlog at the hospital. I'm not really sure if I can get too much in, but I'll try to vlog and edit and put it all together when I'm, you know, back normal. Okay, bye you guys.